And there is David Rudder, popularly known as King David. Now the one thing you will notice is that so far um, we have no uh, sort of uh, uh, people holding on to each other and winding and grinding. The music doesn't lend to that and I think the spirit of this band in any event, I think that whether consciously or subconsciously people are trying to prove critics wrong. The carnival is not simply a moment of debauchery in our lives. I think the carnival is something of great beauty, something that is very positive, something very creative, and certainly something that is touched by the hand of God himself. This section is peace and love. Bright and beautiful, all things bright and beautiful. Again, a sort of, uh, you feel like echoes of Mars Past by Peter Mitchell, the Moon Children of many years ago. Collar and a skirt and uh, a headpiece, if you like to call it that, and also the cup of the costume, all circular, lending itself with tremendous amount of movement. And um, if you're having a band that is not 2,000, 4,000, 4,000 strong, and you want to make an impression, you have a big band, I think this is the way to go. Now you'll notice, uh, Maurice, I wonder if you can uh, that uh, every time a new section uh, comes across the lyrics will change, you see that section, so that uh, we had uh, Rudder singing, all things bright and beautiful, hallelujah.
95. Allison Brown. And here we have our creatures, big and small. And in Vernon, there are two of each. So there are two elephants, the big creatures, and then there are the small creatures as well. And this, I suppose, is a sort of chariotized version of Noah's Ark, if you like. Well, in fact, uh, one we've done now is to go uh, three ways. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great, and then all creatures small. I've been looking at the expressions on Peter Mitchell's face from the time he walked in to now. Um, they've been with us for about half an hour, I think. Uh, and I've been looking at those expressions since 327, it's now five and a half after four. And uh, I am uh, sort of seeing uh, him move from an expressionless face to one that lights up, comes back, lights up again, giving the thumbs up, giving the thumbs up to somebody from time to time, and uh, one wonders whether he does not feel relieved that he has made the final uh, 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 composition spot, and really has come to the high point of what the class is. And the creatures actually, you know, they're the Borotheed form, the elephants are the Borotheed. We have some real Boro Borotheeds, um, we have birds, creatures small, the birds, and even the kids are into this whole movement of it's probably choreographed spontaneity or spontaneous choreography. And that lovely individual costume there that you saw earlier on the competition. Lovely silk screening work. Of the kind of quilting that has been 
done for a victim. Yes, both here in Trinidad and the world. Wonderful big cars as well. On the kids, if you want to call that kids, in some instances they're flags, in some instances they are uh, shawls, in some instances they are skirts, in some instances they are and sunscreens as well. And there is a heart uh, in the center of, uh, of all of that, so that there is another door where we are uh, 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 a cape of some sort uh, with a heart in the middle, signifying love is all. And this is all our weed is what. And perhaps we can, if we just turn a bit to the left, get this massive circular blue cloth which represents the world, because all of we is one. There yeah, we have that holding is what represents uh, uh, the earth, the holding the blue circle, the circle of the earth. And there are not very many countries like Trinidad in fact where you can combine all races living harmoniously together for most of the year, except when it's election time, to say that all of we is one. One thing I've noticed, uh, Maurice, is that uh, as I look back into the ground stand, I cannot see the north stand, and we cannot see the north stand from where we are, but people are hardly moving about, uh, as they might have been doing before, and everybody is holding on to a position. There are people up under the stage, for example, and everybody is there, looking on. And I think the word is expectancy, because as the story unfolds, they keep waiting, they keep waiting for the climax, waiting. And this is one race, the human race. Just behind this, we have two sections uh, where there is going to be an epilogue, and uh, I trust we'll be able to stay long enough to, to see it, uh, of the Hallelujah Chorus and then Free at Last. So there was a presentation, there was a prologue. Uh, at the very beginning, there is going to be an epilogue right after um, uh, the Free at Last section, where we, uh, sorry, after the One Race section, where we get to the Hallelujah Chorus and Free at Last. All right, well, I'm glad you told me it's a prologue. I called it an overture. <laughs> No, well, Peter Mitchell just told me it's an... <laughs> okay, no, I, I used I use prologue in, in the context of the epilogue that he just told me he's going to have. And we're looking, we've, we've moved from the human race, which he's chosen the color white. Well, it's not a color really. And then he's moved into the Hallelujah Chorus. And if you listen to the music, you will hear the Battle Hymn of the Republic being sung. Well, you re realize that at the end there is only peace and love, that love is all, that all of we is one, that uh, one race is the one race is the human race. Uh, the many different people of the people of the island are going to be singing and dancing together this hallelujah chorus. I do feel, Werner, that if one can sing glory, glory, hallelujah before going going into battle, that in fact singing hallelujah at a jubilant time is far more appropriate than before you kill people.
And really, in essence, this, this entire white section we've seen from um, the human race, the Hallelujah Chorus, um, really is almost fancy clown in both the color and fancy sailing you like as well, and in the head pieces. And in the, the headpiece, it's really a headpiece come collar that he's managed to create here with the circular form. You know, I'm looking at this section in particular, and uh, wild band leaders have trouble getting masqueraders to, to wear any kind of cloth, any kind of costume. Peter Mitchell does not have that problem. No, because Peter has a kind of masquerader that wants to play with it. So it's not a problem. You know, these costumes as well, there's a very ecclesiastic feel. It's almost like, you know, the, 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 the Baptists in, um, in America. You get these wonderful chorus of Baptist singers in these massive, massive gowns. Certainly I feel we've seen at least a thousand people, at least, and that's just a conservative figure. Bernard, we may even have 1,500 people on stage, I would imagine, because this has been going on for a while, and granted that the costumes have been, have been pretty wide, I do feel that we probably have crossed uh, the 1,200 mark. Well, I was just whispering uh, to Peter, trying to get an indication. He himself doesn't even know. But, no, uh, Peter's an artist. He needs a business to other people. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying it could be between 12 and a little over I, I would imagine it would be any, anywhere like 12, 12 other people. Which isn't a bad figure. Not at all. And certainly for the kind of impression it's created, uh, certainly one of the contenders for Band of the Year. And I think if people are broad-minded enough, and the judges are broad-minded enough, and if politics doesn't have anything to say with it, Peter could very well cop the title this year. While this section is uh, going on, uh, across the stage we uh, have Peter Minchel with us and we thank like, uh, very much and we hope that we'll be able to uh, zero in and focus on, on, on Peter so that we can get his uh, reflections of this band that has come across the stage. But Peter, how do you, the artist, feel about what you've seen here today? Um, We've had a couple of pickups along the way, but I think the patience is well in the guy. I am gratified by the by the the grace and the power of the human spirit that has made this possible. Um, a, a long time ago, I for certain accidents of life, um, grew to, to develop a faith in the mass, which I suppose means a faith in people, which I suppose means a faith in greater things than ourselves, the Almighty. I don't want to turn as somebody right who said mass into religion or religion into mass, but I. I think there's a bunch of people out on that stage who I would today say that an abandoned angels. 
And I think that in fact you have a tremendous amount of support as well. Um, the people here at the Queen's Park Savannah, even before you came on stage, when they heard you were coming, there was a tremendous ovation. And when you came on stage as well, they in fact did appreciate me. We want to thank, and we know you got to go. So I want to thank you very much, Peter. And um, hope to see you again next year. Well, um, I have one word to say to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you as well. Thank you very much. Okay. That's a very brief visit there from the master himself, Peter Mitchell. You know, Bernard, it's amazing. Um, the, the theater that is in the man um, that pervades everything that he does. And uh, I think that Peter reached a moment here with us when he felt that the magic could be broken. He did have to leave, I know, but there was also that element that um, the magic that we've seen here today on stage could easily have been broken. If you're listening, we have the sneakers machines in the Lapham Hill rhythm section as well, uh, playing live pan. So we've had um, we've had David Rudder. We have had elements of the East Indian music. We've had pan. We've had the African rhythm. We've had the Bat Hymn of the Republic, um, and we've had two original pieces of music written just for this band. And this, in fact, has been for us here at the Queen's Park Savannah an extremely rewarding experience. Well, uh, after looking at this for pretty close on an hour, the moment has arrived. Is it mass? Is it not mass? Uh, all the questions people have had, all the doubts they've had, and we've been able to show you uh, all the sections of this band, the uh, audience here at the Savannah, the home audience, the television audience, they've been able to look at it. And uh, for those answers, uh, you will have to come up with them yourself. And I think it's masked with respect, because even our director here, normally we would have commercials coming into bands, even the director respected the moment, as did the audience here at the Queen's Park Savannah. There was this tremendous feeling, as I said earlier, of expectation. I, don't I think, think it was fully rewarded. Yes, I don't think that there was any other way for us to do it, uh, simply because of the amount of controversy, really, that followed this band. Uh, the talk and the cross-talk, uh, the people uh, um, threatening all kinds of action, uh, different people having their say, people who felt that he should have changed, Peter Minchel saying, no, I am not changing, the name of the band is Hallelujah, and there is nothing else I can do, and if I change it, it is not going to be the same. And uh, one would think that of all the bands that have come through here today, the one band that everybody would have wanted to see, would um, either want to see on the road, want to see here at the Savannah, or the television audience at home would want to see would have been this band. And it certainly was the one band, well, I wouldn't say it was the one band, it was certainly was one of the bands where there was no whining and jamming going on. Precisely. So I say chapeau to you all, congrats to the, the players, as he calls them, his band of angels. And um, we're looking forward to seeing the other masks as well. Christopher Pinero, whom we can't see, is doing this. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go to a break now. We gotta leave Peter, wishing us all love and peace. Love and peace to you. Too.